வெல்கம் பேக் டு த யூடியூப் சேனல் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் நாலேஜ் இன் டுடேஸ் மைக்ரோசாஃப்ட் எக்ஸெல் டியூட்டோரியல்ஸ் வீடியோ வி வுட் பி சீங் தேட் ஹவு கேன் வி கிரியேட் ஷார்ட்ஸ் இன் மைக்ரோசாஃப்ட் எக்ஸெல் யூசிங் சம் ஆஃப் தி ஷார்ட் கட்ஸ் தேட் ஆர் அவைலபிள் டு அஸ் ஆல்சோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி தேட் ஹவு கேன் வி கஸ்டமைஸ் த டேட்டா தேட் இஸ் ஷோன் டு அஸ் இன் ஷார்ட்ஸ் அபார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தேட் வி ஆர் ஆல்சோ கோயிங் டு அட்ரெஸ் அ வெரி காமன் ப்ராப்ளம் தேட் பீப்புள் uh encounter while creating charts in microsoft excel so all these questions would be answered in this video so make sure you watch till the end okay so let's start with the video uh here we, what we have in this sheet is a table and in this table as you can see there are two columns one is the sales person column and the other is the sales amount so what we want to do out of this data is create a chart what would be a simple approach is that for each sales person we want a uh, corresponding chart or a corresponding bar that goes up to the sales amount so that is a simple um, approach that we want to follow so what we can do uh, to create a chart out of this as we have already covered in a previous video is that we got to go to the insert tab and insert a chart but that is a long cut method and this video is all about talking about the shortcut methods and how can you create a chart so what is the shortcut method is you got to select this whole table and press alt f1 from your keyboard now as soon as you press this alt f1 this is the default chart type that would be shown in front of you now if you want to create this type of chart only then you got to use this alt f1 key and this chart would be created now you can customize its view as per your choice like this from these views or you can just customize it as per your wish now if you want to create a pie chart or if you want to create a line chart out of this data then you cannot follow this shortcut because this is the default chart type of microsoft excel and alt f1 only stands for the default uh, chart type but if you want to create different types of chart what can you do i will tell you later in the video so now you have created this chart but you are not happy with how the data is shown like this data is shown from 0 dollars here you can see the lower limit is 0 dollars and the upper limit is 1400 dollars and that is predefined by microsoft excel apart from this the difference between these uh, values is actually of 200 which i do not like i want the difference to be 100 dollars so how can i customize this so to customize it what you got to do is just double click over this y axis and as soon as you do that you will find this format access dialog box in front of you now in this format access there is this access options which has bounds the minimum bound shows you the minimum value which is 0 dollars present over here this maximum uh, bound shows you the maximum value which is 1400 dollars now you can just change it as per your wish as the minimum amount of sales that i have got in my table is 550 dollars so i do not want it to start from 0 dollar rather i want it to start from 400 dollars so i just specify a minimum amount of 400 dollars and a maximum amount i'm want it to be 1500 dollars so i can do that as well now when you do that you can see that your chart has been changed to something like this now you might have noticed that the 1500 dollar mark is not visible the reason being we have got the difference of 200 dollars so this units option is what tells us about the difference and i do not want the difference to be 200 dollars i want it to be 100 dollars so i just press 100 and when i click on okay or i click anywhere else then you can see that this 1500 dollar mark is now visible and the data ranges from 400 dollars to 1500 dollars that's exactly what i wanted Uh, okay so that's about how you can customize your y axis as per your wish now one interesting thing to note is this tick marks option if you can just expand it then there are two options one for major type and one for minor type if you can just go to this major type option and click on inside now as soon as you do that you might have noticed that these small marks are visible i don't know if it's visible to you or not but these are there for each and every mark that we have created from 400 till 1500 another important thing about this units option is this minor whose value is set at 20 now what is this minor 
between any two records say 400 to 500 there are a uh, hundred dollars difference and there are these minor marks at every 20 dollars how you can see these minor tick marks you can just go to this minor type and change it from none to say inside and you can see that these all kinds of uh, markings are now visible if i just change it to 40 dollars and click anywhere else say here so you can see that they have become sparse so that's how you can uh, just show the markings and now what is the usage of these markings if you can just go to this is thirteen hundred and twenty dollars this means it holds two marks and that's exactly where this bar goes it goes up till a half mark because we have got a difference of 40 marks so it goes half till a mark so that's is what it's usage it it helps you to read data in a proper format that's how you can create a chart with a simple data but what if you have different type of data suppose here in this table what data do we have is a year data and the sales data that means um, of these years we have the sales data and we want to create a chart that in which year we made how much sales so uh, what would be a general approach if you want to go with the default chart type a def uh, general approach would be to just select this table and press alt f1 and yes a chart is there but what is the problem with this chart the problem is that this chart is not at all correct what we thought in our mind was that the years would be visible uh, in the x-axis and in the y-axis the sales amount would be visible and that would give us a clear understanding of the year y sales but that's not what microsoft excel has done and that is a problem that many of the people face while creating charts with Microsoft Excel. So this is a common problem. That's why I'm addressing it over here. So to come out of this problem, there are two ways. There are two approaches. One is the shortcut approach and one is a long cut approach. First of all, let us discuss the long cut approach. So what is the long cut approach is all you got to do is first create a chart using this shortcut method. Then you can apply this long cut approach. Okay. Now make sure you have selected this chart. Then what you got to do is in the design tab, you have this option called select data. You can just click over it and this menu will appear. Now here you can see there are two options, the ligand entries option and the horizontal axis labels option. In the ligand entries, you got to uncheck this year or any of the value that you want to be visible in the X axis. I want the years to be visible in the X axis. So that's why I have unchecked the years option. If you want sales amount to be visible in the X axis, then you can do the vice versa. Okay, then go to this horizontal axis labels option and click on edit. And then you would be asked to choose the uh, records for yourself. So you can just select all these year values from 2015 till 2020. And as soon as you do that, you can see that your chart has changed. Now 2015 till 2020 years are visible over here with the sales amount visible over here. That's exactly what we wanted. Just click on OK and boom, that's your chart has been created as per your wish. But again, as I told you, it's a long cut method. So uh, if you want a shortcut, I have a shortcut for it. It's also but uh, there is one more thing that you need to understand. What if you want a comparative analysis of say two or three years? I want a comparative analysis of the year 2017, 2018 and 2019. How can I do that? You got to just uncheck all the remaining records and only make sure that 2017 till 2019 records are visible and click on OK. When you do that, your chart has been customized to show only the records of these years. But uh, this is a long cut method again, and uh, this is more clearly demonstrated with the help of pivot charts, which would we'll be covering in the next lectures or the next videos. Uh, as of now, you can just go with this default chart. Okay. Now I have just uh, converted it back to this faulty chart because I wanted to show you the shortcut method of creating the correct chart. You can just select this whole data and press control Q from your keyboard. When you do that, you have all these options in front of you. Go to this charts option. Here you can create any chart of your choice. Like you can create a line chart. You can create a scatter chart. You can create a stacked chart. You can create a pie chart. 
and if you want you can just go with more chart types but i'm going to go with a simple chart which is this one and when this chart is created you can see the data is all correct ranging from 2015 to 2020 are the year values and then there is a sales amount ranging from zero to forty five thousand dollars but that's exactly your wish if you want you can just customize it uh, there is a difference of five thousand dollars if you want you can change it to anything say ten thousand twenty thousand as per your wish so that's all about the charts that we are going to cover in this video thanks for watching goodbye